Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about compressible fluid and incompressible fluid. So students, let's first see the compressible fluid. See students, suppose this is a container. Okay, and here this is a piston as you can see here and inside this system, this is a closed system and inside this system there is a fluid as you can see here and these are the fluid molecules as you can see here and as you can see the distance between these fluid molecules is more as you can see here. Okay, so so in this case this is a gas in case of gas there is the, there is more intermolecular distance between the molecules okay as you can see here the distance between the molecules is more okay when we compress as next see when we compress that is when piston moves downward this particles or molecules get compressed as you can see here here and the distance between there is decreased as you can see here okay and here in this case there is no entry and exit of the mass as you can see here that is mass is constant but as you can see here the in first case density is less and volume is more and in this second case when we compressed our piston moves downwards there is increase in density and decrease in volume okay so the gaseous fluids are called as compressible fluid okay so now further see here gases are compressible fluids because the distance between the individual particles in the case of gases is more and hence it gets compressed the most okay so now further compressible is that type of flow in which the density of the fluid changes from point to point okay as we have seen here the density is changed okay when further this uh, piston move downwards the density again changed okay so now for the see here there is no entry and exit of the fluid that is mass is constant okay now further volume as we have seen volume is decreased now let's see about the incompressible fluid so here suppose now again this is the container and this is a piston and inside this piston cylinder arrangement there is a fluid and as you can see here this is also a closed, closed system and inside this there is a fluid particles and you can see the intermolecular distance of these fluid particles is less than in the case of gases okay so and this is a case of liquid liquid has a intermo less intermolecular distance than gases okay so when we try to push the piston there is no compression of the liquid molecule so that is uh, here in this case density remains the constant and volume also remains the constant as you can see here and here also no exit and entry of the mass okay happens so now see liquids are incompressible fluids because the intermolecular distance is less in case of liquids than in the case of gases okay now for the incompressible is that top type of flow in which the density remains constant as we have seen the density has not changed no entry and exit of fluid mass is constant as you can see here in this case and volume remains constant and density also remains constant okay so students in this video we have understood about compressible and incompressible fluids thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you